And there it is. We kicking 2023 off with another celebrity death. And they saying an overdose in Memphis again, back to back. Memphis coming hard with the overdose back to back. Like, what kind of shipment? And whatever cartel in Mexico got control over Memphis. Ooh, ooh. It could be new generation. Yeah, new generation cartel might get, got Memphis on lock. Coming out of Mexico, they flooding everything with fit and all type of bullshit. Everybody overdosing. Yeah, so if they had put you on them humans, because new generation, they play with them humans. So if you had, if you had to come about a Mexico, the El Paso, so they going to, in this little right here, paying 100 racks. They could be paying 200 racks. But if it's on a, a pill run or coke run, they're gonna, and they got to go to Memphis, shit, coming out that El Paso, I'm a, um, that's Highway 10. So I'm going to take that 10 and I'm going to jump on that 20. That's 20. That's that Abilene, Texas. I'm head that way. Then uh, 30. I'm going to take that 30. It's Fort Worth. Come about that thing. Come about the Fort Worth, Dallas. Then I'm going to hit that 40. Yeah, that Little Rock. I'm taking. I'm going. I'm hitting Little Rock because I'm hitting the Memphis. So I got to go through that Little Rock. But it's hot. So I got to be sturdy. I got to make sure everything right because these highways hot. Known for trafficking. Known for, you know, so um, I can't do nothing stupid. I can't be playing. I'm getting going. Ain't no stopping except gas. Yeah, we rocking. Um, then from Little Rock, uh, we take that 40. The 40 going to go straight to Memphis. You know what I'm saying? And it's all death. <laughs> and this track, the trailer, it's all, yeah, everything fucked up. And the cartel pushing it out, pushing it out, pushing it out. And, yeah, they buying it. People liking it. People overdosing, but they still buying it. They seeing everybody seeing the overdoses. Something wrong with the humans. Something is wrong with the humans. Everybody seeing the overdosing. They keep buying it. They keep taking it. Rappers gonna keep saying they take the fake drugs. Cause it's amazing. Think about it. If everybody overdosing on these pills and it's fitting all in it, and you know it, and you take it, and you don't die. Yeah, it's gonna pump your head up. If you got that type of mindset, so you're gonna say like the Kodak, I'm a gremlin. Yeah. Cause you they taking it, they passing away. You taking it, you eating it. And you got bodies, and you did your time, and you still on team, and you can fight, and you hit them, you know what I'm saying? And you hit them home, you know and you fly. So nigga, you feel like, yeah, you turn. Yeah, you ain't no famous rapper, but you, nigga, you turn though. You got all that. You done pass all the real nigga tests. So yeah, nigga feel so nigga gonna keep taking them. Cause everybody not passing a lot of people out, but it don't matter. Like she just seen Gangsta Boo, she just seen Big Scar pass away. So she knows it's in the area, she know it's in the streets of Memphis. She know it. But yeah, everybody's still buying it because they need it. You know, uh, I can't really say pills, cause you know, Gangsta Boo, she really ain't never like swallowing shit like she don't like the pill thing she has tried x she was on that 18 17 she was playing with the x you know um what's that song she said she did uh that ballers we be on some twinky twinky player haters get found stanky stanky yeah she was on that she was on that x on that verse she said it oh she said it so um and then um she did try coke back in the day Ain't no telling could have been that. You know, she just started about a year ago, started taking um mushrooms. You know, never know. Um of course she smoked gas, you know, but the shit like that ain't nothing too crazy, nothing too heavy, but you know, relapsing or she could have took a pill for the first time and it was some bullshit. Like I'm gonna go ahead and take one. And go to the moon. And it could have been some bullshit. Like you never know, but yeah, um, man, you know, her using, she got her reasons, you know. Never know what she going through, but I'll tell you one damn thing. She was getting her flowers like, it's like she was going to have another run. She was going to have another run in hip-hop. Thought she was gone, but she was making her way back, and everybody just started embracing her. Came in hard. She went out with a bang. She should be happy. Yo, because she ain't like she wasn't nowhere around. She just dropped the drunk with Gorilla, uh, uh, Lotto. Yeah, yeah, what? To the club bubble, something. 
F the club up, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, she's been hard. She's on Drake Chaps. She got her flowers on that. She did the uh, verses. Had a legendary moment. Yeah, like she was, she, they was respecting her. She was finna make another run, go crazy. She was finna turn up. But, you know, she still deal with her Memphis issues. Whatever she going through, like. Or she could have been, it ain't had to be no issue. Could have been just turning up, having fun, living life, enjoying life. Enjoying life. All the street niggas always gave gangsta boo her respect, it don't matter what hood. Yeah, you said her name, like, respect, go with that. Gangsta boo, oh yeah, she, she, she hard. Nigga be from anywhere, up north, Midwest, Cali, down south, it don't matter. Gangsta boo, yeah. You ain't never really heard, like, whack trash with Gangsta Boo name. Like, nah, always respect. But, like, we don't skip our songs. We play them. We don't skip Yeah, we don't skip the Gangsta Boo songs. Like, we don't really listen to females like that. Just a few, like, but Gangsta Boo, she one of them. Me and X, all that dull and chat, all that, yeah. They one of the ones. And, like, you know, a lot more, too, you know. And they coming back hard. They coming back hard right now, but, um, but that gangsta boo flow, like a lot of these females, they don't got that gangsta boo flow. Like they don't got that. They can't rap like that. They gotta, you know, sell sex. You know what I'm saying? They can't talk that street shit and then had a nigga ill. Niggas went to the store and spent twenty dollars for the gangsta boo album for the Mia X. Nigga went to the store, spent the twenty five dollars, the twenty dollars, eighteen dollars, seventeen dollars. You know, going to the local music store. You know, niggas spending seventeen, fifteen, eighteen, um, twenty. You know what I'm saying? For the CD. And they buying that. So, she definitely went out as a legend. Like, you may not know her. You may be too young. But you go back, like, she always gave her all. She always gave her all. She always, you know, um, she spit with the best of them. You put her in a room with anybody, she going to hold her own. And, you know, that's very common in Memphis. Niggas holding their own. Females, males, it don't matter what you is, nigga hold their own. They're just in the water. And the yeah, something they eating. They do got some a lot of good soul food spots. So there's something in the cornbread, some whatever. So yeah, they just hold their own. They one of them they, they just one of the ones for our states, for our cities. And yeah, um she got she, she got some of that flavor. And she definitely dripped it, she definitely pimped it out, she definitely whatever you wanna say, she definitely was all that. She definitely paid the way for that gangster rap, that street talk. You know, um, one of the first females to talk about drugs and or at least be on them and spitting it and reach that level. Like she was one of the first ones, if not the first. So yeah, um, not to glorify that though, but you know, just part of her history. She put in a lot of work. She was on a lot of albums, did a lot of songs. She wasn't lazy, nothing lazy about her. Like I said, she was having another run. Out of all the Three Six Mafia members, she, she had the biggest run besides Paul and Juicy. Yeah, besides them, the big dogs, she, who had a big hit like her? Or oh, on the big hit? She on it, she on the song. Ain't nobody called uh, Crunchy Black or, you know, Lord Infamous, Rest in Peace, and all the rest of them. Like, ain't nobody called them. Now, Juicy and Paul, and they down count. But yeah, she, Standing on 10 on Drink Champ solo. <laughs> solo interview on Vlad. Solo. Come on now. She was she was finna do like have a major impact. Come with the album. She still had the look. Still had the flow. So yeah, man, got the respect. So man, it wouldn't be hard for her. She wasn't finna be hurt for nothing. She just like to do what she liked to do. And yeah. Or she could have been chilling, not doing shit. She ain't been doing none of that shit. And she just popped that and it, yeah. It took her out of here, man. It could have been that, man. She could not, she could have been chilling, just smoking gas and shit. And she just wanted to try some shit. I mean, not try it like she never done it, but she just did that one and it was the wrong pack. It was the wrong pack. Now, if it's some fake, if it's some fake, fit or something like that, then that hustler got to get dealt with. He got to, you know, come to the streets with that. He got, he got to come to the streets with that. Now, if it's just some, it was real and she just overdosed on it, if it's that, it's still a legend now. It's still, everything is still a legend. If it's that now, then it ain't on, it ain't on him. 
It just, it was just, it was, it was good, and then her body couldn't handle it. That's all it was. But if it was fake, then it's on him. If it's not, then it's on her. Her choice is what she wanted. You know, um, in Memphis, if you're taking pills, if you're taking anything like you doing any type of drugs, you gotta be real careful. Like you need to be going online and ordering that drug test kit. And when you buy something, buy a pill, test it. See if the pill real. See if you get the same police test kit. Get it. If you can't get it online, they ain't trying to sell it, go to the dark web. Find a way. You get them switches. You get the switches, get that. I'm telling you. Cause you're gonna be you gonna be the dude that's just getting money. He had the way police ain't on him and nothing. And you're gonna sell something, it's gonna be an overdose. And it's gonna come back that you sold it to him. And you're gonna go down for a homicide. And when they kick your dough in, they're gonna find all type of shit. Cause you on the low, you chilling, so they're gonna find all type of shit. They're gonna catch you slipping. Cause you don't you don't wanna buy the test kit. You wanna even spend the money, go get it. You'll go buy. You're gonna go buy a chain, a watch, a grill. A car designer, you wanna go get the test kit. You sell pills, you sell dog food, you sell coke. You gonna get an overdose on your jacket, and they gonna come and they gonna find a gun. They gonna find that gun. They gonna find that switch. They gonna find that. You gotta check your product. You never know. You gonna be at your best moment. You gonna be at 50 racks, 80 racks, 100 racks, 150 racks, 200 racks. 400, you finna 500 racks, and you gonna get an overdose on your jacket, and they gonna kick your dough. Cause they said you sold it, it's your product, and you ain't check it. You wanna get the test kits. You can't find, you can't get them make away. You get the switches, you can get that. Make away. Or it can be a war behind it, like, you serve somebody something. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't finna call no police, they finna, yeah, you up, you living good. You got trucks and everything. Nah, nigga trying to take you to the war because you didn't overdose that person. They was a rapper or connected to a big dog or just about that issue. And they got people and they ready to ride. Now you got to slide. And it's about some bullshit that if you catch that body, you going down. It ain't going to be no self-defense because how it's going to play out. So yeah, man, because you didn't order that test kit. Go order the test kit, man. You know what you're serving, man. Say yourself. All right, now you know the rules. You know the, you know how they're playing. You know what's going on. You don't know the information that's still on. Go do it. Like, you, know, you one of them type of niggas, you know it, but you still ain't. I got you, though, for you. You just want to be like, I knew that shit. I ain't even knew that shit. That's how you is. You going to get locked up facing a 50 piece, 30. I, I knew that shit too though, man. I was lazy, man. You weren't the type of niggas that got you. Yeah. But, man, it's all good, man. Rest in peace to the legend. Gangsta Boo, man.